Dr. Alexander uh, um, is a wonderful man. He has, uh, he knows when to have a soft voice. He knows when to carry the big stick, and he knows when to be the bulldog, uh, the bully pulpit. You know, I've seen him testify in Congress. I've seen him testify in Sacramento, and I've seen him work with our parents. And so he, uh, he's almost like a, um, a preacher. He knows his audience well, and he does a great job, and he's very, very sincere in everything that he talks about. My fondest memory of King is when he asked me to accompany him to a trip to Sacramento. It was sort of a lobbying trip where we met with the governor and all 23 of the state university presidents were there. And it was pretty obvious that the King was not only the youngest person in the room, but he was pretty much the brightest person in the room. And you could tell by how they treated him that they relied on him to come up with the facts. He comes up and when he speaks, he speaks without notes, without any uh, aids or anything, without a, uh, without a prompter and so forth. Seems to know what he wants to say and has a lot to say. Great leader and a, an inspiring one on top of it. Uh, he's a very inclusive guy. I mean, that was struck me when I first met him. He really does try to bring everybody uh, in on decisions. He really tries to make everybody feel a part of a decision. You know, he loves young people and he understands the importance of education for young people, not just for them, but for the society. And he lives, eats, and sleeps it. And it's, it, you can't help but trust him. And for a leader, that's the most important thing you can do. Well, he gets along very well with almost everybody, and uh, that I, as, far, as far as I know. And he has a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, he's got a, uh, uh, a spirit about him that uh, he can relate either to the students, or he can relate to uh, donors or people in the community. And uh, he's got an excellent uh, personality and an excellent attitude for the kind of job that he's had. Many minority students are able to get into um, colleges and universities, but he's developed programs that enable them to stay uh, in the school, to help them when they were falling behind, uh, to come up with special financial support. And I think that all of that is very, very important, um, very, very important. Well, I think King just brought a risk-taking attitude to his leadership style, and that was perfect for the time that he was here at the university. I mean, he worked hard with, with us at Long Beach City College. Uh, he was willing to take risks in the face of a lot of criticism to keep the doors open when the CSU was beginning to shut its doors. So we owe him a great thanks from all, all of us in the local community for his commitment and for his leadership style. King Alexander's leadership starts with students. And King leads through students. Uh, he's out there on the basketball court uh, playing with these students. But what I love is the students clip him every once in a while and make him uh, humble. There are thousands of my students who are either at Cal State Long Beach, have graduated from Cal State Long Beach, in graduate school, productive members of our society. Because of him and because of his belief in the partnership between higher ed and K-12 schools. Well, you know, when King Alexander got here, I thought, oh my gosh, what a tough act to follow. You know, Bob Gold Beach Maxim is a tough, tough guy. He raises a lot of money. But I think King raised more money, in all due respect to Bob. And I think he obviously had a different persona. Uh, Bob was a little bit more walking around the campus, uh, saying hello to students. But King did a lot more in raising money. He did passion for advocacy. So he was a different sort of leader, but they were both great leaders. And we are so lucky to have both of them back to back. Well, I'm old enough to have remembered all of the former presidents of Cal State Long Beach. And uh, when King Alexander came along, he replaced a very popular president. Uh, we were very happy with the president we had. And, but he came along and uh, he uh, had a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, and he also um, had more of a, um, of a, a national uh, view of the university and where, where it should be in a national setting. Uh, but my fondest memory is just being able to sit with him and figure out how we can get in trouble. So that is always my fondest memory, a, a willing partner to make things happen regardless of who's going to complain, regardless of who's going to express concern over what we're trying to accomplish, and he was committed to getting in trouble with me. Uh, King was always uh, a cheerleader. He was a person who 
uh, when, when he finished speaking, you were ready to do something for uh, Cal State. And so he was able to bring money here, he was able to bring students here, he was able to inspire the community and be a part of it. Instead of having the, Cal the university be a sort of an isolated uh, situation in the midst of a, uh, a rather large city. One of the things that President Alexander always talks about is the federal government's involvement and potential increased involvement in higher education uh, in a national context. And that's an idea that has resonated with our students. And he helped us, uh, as a statewide student organization, design a federal relations program to facilitate more student involvement on the Hill and with our, our senators and our Congress people. Um, so it was that kind of involvement with him uh, that encouraged us to recognize him twice with the President of the Year Award. King, we're going to miss you here in Long Beach. I'm going to especially miss you on the basketball court at the Pyramid. Good look at LSU. And I want you to know that on my wish list, I've always wanted to go to a game at Tiger Stadium against the University of Alabama. And one of these days, I'm going to be calling you up for some good seats. You know what, King? Uh, welcome back to the South. I can tell you that they haven't lost any bugs or humidity. But <clears throat> here's the big deal, okay? Tiger Stadium, Death Valley. How about two tickets in your box starting this football season? Best of luck to you, King.